Coming to you from a living room somewhere in the greater Los Angeles area, it's Rick's Cafe Live. Get comfy. Order some takeout. Remove your masks and gloves. Hang up your hazmat suit and get ready to party with Rick and his friends. Now put your hands together for a round of thunderous applause, which we cannot hear, and welcome your host, Rick Braun.
like six months six months and here we are here we are we're still here for you and you are still here for us and we so appreciate you um, so many of you have been here with us since week one every week watching our show it's been six months <laughs> it's hard to believe anyway we so appreciate you this is this is an amazing band. Uh, I know they've been here before, and we're so glad that these wonderful musicians are back here again tonight. You may not recognize him because he's all bundled up and masked up, and he's not going to rob a bank right after this. He's being responsible. Put your hands together from Cleveland, Ohio, from Sandusky, Ohio. Mr. Tony Pulitzi on the guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yes. On the, on the bass guitar. I love this man. I love his playing. He's an awesome human being. Glad to have you back. Daryl Williams on the bass guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, back here on the drums. He was just playing me some of his new record, and I hope everybody looks out for this because it's really awesome. He's got Kamazi Washington on there. He's got all kinds of big stars on there and it sounds wonderful. Uh, put your hands together for Mr. Gordon Campbell on the drums. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that 20 bucks, you can hand it to me a little bit later for that plug. <laughs> you got me, he's got me. So this guy over here, I love him. He, he, he's so awesome because we, we threw some new tunes into the mix this week. We want to do some new things and not all of these songs, uh, everybody doesn't know them. And so I reached out, and Carnell said, well, I can do charts for the songs. And he did them, and it's just, he couldn't have put this show on without him. So wonderful. Carnell Harrell on the keyboards and vocals. Yes! <laughs> all right. I hope you're all settled in with a nice meal, nice uh, glass of wine or a martini, whatever you want. We're going to do a song now that I wrote with one of my neighbors. And this is a song that I know you all have heard me play so many times live. And I wish, I wish we could be doing this live for you right now with everybody sitting here. But right now, the vampires have got to make up for that energy because I know you're there. I can feel you. So here we go. Hollywood and Vine. <laughs>
how's everybody doing? Are you doing okay out there? I think we're starting to make some progress, at least here in California. We're starting to see things calm down a little bit, and maybe with a little bit of little bit of good behavior on our part, we can get back to something a little closer to a normal life. I have faith that's going to happen, so let's keep positive through all of this. It's, it's going to get better. Right, Omar? It's going to get better, brother. going to get better. Um, like I said, it's been, uh, it's been six months since we started this, and all of you has hung, have hung in there with us, and uh, I can't, again, express my gratitude enough. So uh, we're going to play a song. This is one of those songs that uh, you probably heard me uh, do with Mindy. And Tony Polizzi was, was the entire band when we sat on Mindy's front porch on Tuesday, and that was so much fun, Tony. You did an awesome job, man. Awesome Everybody job. Played great. <laughs> it was so fun. Everybody played great, didn't Yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> and uh, so, but this is a song that uh, I've tried not to do it, and it's, it's resulted in physical violence against me. So, no, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. <laughs> Bada bing. Don't believe everything I say, okay? It's, uh, it's not true. Um, anyway, this is a song that is, uh, is one of my favorites. It was one of my biggest hits. It featured Boney James uh, on the record. It was on my Body and Soul record, and you know it was only written because my record company went out of business, so, you know, life handed me a whole bunch of lemons, and uh, I had some friends advise me the best thing you can do is make lemonades, and this is, this is the song that came out of that lemonade. It's called Notorious.
Some applause here. They, I think they sincerely, you, you guys sincerely liked this one. I think that was that was good. Thank you very much. Now we are live, uh, so you know, this is what you get. What you see is what you get. So, but here's the good side of all of this: if you have a, a birthday, an anniversary, any kind of a special occasion you'd like to uh, have us announce, uh, we have a, a live feed that I know you're all are having a good time having hanging out with each other. And uh, you can just post it there, and we'll do our best to catch them as they come by. And uh, but we do have some birthdays that were uh, given to me earlier, so I'm gonna I'm gonna announce those right now because these are some very special people. Uh, first of all, I want to wish a very happy birthday to our dear friend up in Seattle, Mr. Patrick Maloney, who just turned 30 years old today. Happy birthday, Patrick. Um, we also have uh, another very special birthday, our dear friend. Um, Paul Tuvman, who just recently, you know, he's four days, I think, away from officially retiring as a Delta check pilot. And uh, we really, really love him and his beautiful wife, Chip. It's Chip's birthday. Chip Tuvman, happy birthday. We love you so much from Paul and from all of us. Happy birthday. Um, also, uh, this is, uh, we have a happy birthday to, uh, from his darling wife, Karen in El Paso, Texas, out in the West Texas town of El Paso. I actually know some of those lyrics. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, why is right. <laughs> uh, happy birthday from Karen to Donnie Moulton in El Paso, Texas. Half, happy birthday, Donnie. Uh, we have some anniversaries, big anniversaries. Also, from El Paso, Texas, my favorite foot doctor, favorite podiatrist in the whole world, in fact, is the only pod podiatrist that I know, but he's a great guy, and uh, he is celebrating 35 years of marriage with his beautiful wife. Uh, so happy anniversary to Tom and Sandra Alost. Uh, we love you very, very much. 35 years. Also, we have more anniversaries. Mark and Darlene Stanowski celebrating can you believe this 45 years of being married 45th wedding anniversary congratulations you two uh, celebrating as well 45 years of marriage Rudy and Debbie Flores and Rudy I don't know if you've and I know many of you have watched the show from the very first episode Rudy was our bongo guy winner 
of the Sweet Caroline contest. Uh, so Rudy, Carolyn, happy anniversary to all of you. And uh, once again, reminding you, if you have an announcement you'd like us to make, we'd be more than happy to do that for you. Now, we want to play a song that was um, requested, and it's funny because this song was never really a big song for me, but people found, this is a tribute to people actually listening to the music and finding little hidden tidbits. And so this, this song um, we want to do for you right now, it's called Silk, and uh, we had a lot of fun rehearsing this today, so let's, let's do it.
Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. We drove back from San Diego this morning. I've been, uh, news, news update, da, 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 da. Uh, I've been working on Richard Elliott's new record. We went down to visit Richard and talk about material, and uh, I just have to tell you, Richard is just sounding absolutely wonderful and playing so well, and uh, it's just such a joy to work with him on his new record, so you might want to watch for that. We're going to hopefully get it done sometime around uh, mid-September, which is soon. Wow, time is flying. Um, we're going to do a song for you now. Now, you know I'm a fan of jazz standards, and uh, we want to do a standard for you right now that has been recorded by so many people. Billie Holiday, Miles Davis, Chet Baker, John Coltrane, you name it. And um, it's a song I love to sing. It was my mother's favorite song. And um, I got a chance to play and sing it for her before she passed and dedicate it uh, to her. So uh, tonight, um, look, I know there's a lot of moms out there who have uh, kids who should be in school right now, and uh, I remember when our kids were younger, uh, come to this time of year, you go, summer was great, but boy, I am glad these kids are going back to school. And uh, <laughs> Moms, you're going to have to wait a little while longer, I think, in a lot of places. But uh, this is a song that maybe you can have a nice glass of wine and just enjoy a moment of, of peace and know that you're appreciated and loved by all of us. It's called My Funny Valentine. My Funny Valentine Sweet, funny Valentine, you make me smile in my heart, my heart. Your Looks all laughable, un unphotographable. Still, you're my favorite work of art. Is your Figure is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth your mouth a little weak? When you open up, open up and speak, are you smart? But don't change, don't change your hair for me. Now, if you care for me, baby, stay. Funny Valentine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Each day is Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Thank you. 
is your figure is your figure less than green is your mouth a little weak when you open up open up and speak Don't change one single hair for me. Not if you care for me, stay. Funny Valentine. Is Valentine's Valentine's <laughs> That's Carnell Harrell back there on the beautiful, beautiful piano playing. Just wonderful. Uh, we have some more anniversaries. That's anniversaries and uh, maybe some birthdays. I'm just going to see what, what comes in here. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Uh, we have some uh, understudy vampires here. Uh, we have Natalia, who is uh, sitting in, trying to uh, do her, her best to follow all the stuff that Nicholas Palaio was doing. It's a lot, isn't it, Natalia? It's a lot that he does. It is, but she's doing a fantastic job. We also have Max Strail over there, who's uh, following Kyle, who's again getting ready to go away to school. So Max, thank you. Glad to have both of you here. Um, we're gonna, oh, dedications. We have a 50th, 50th. You must have gotten married when you were like 10. Uh, <laughs> 50th wedding anniversary for Marsha and Doug in Raleigh, Raleigh. So congratulations. Marsha and Doug, that's a major accomplishment. I, I don't know if we'll ever get there, honey. Can we get to 50? We're going to try, right? We're going to try. Okay. Um, uh, another, um, Andre, Andre and Hilda Day are celebrating 34 years of marriage as well. Congratulations. Uh, 16th anniversary for Carolyn and Michael Estrella. Estella. Oh, sorry, that's two separate things. I'll read anything, folks. 16th anniversary for Carolyn and Michael. We don't know your last name, but happy anniversary to you, Carolyn and Michael. Uh, Estella and Joseph, you guys are celebrating your 28th uh, wedding anniversary. Congratulations. And a happy second anniversary. Newcomers, stick with it. Two years of marriage in a pandemic. You can do it. You can do it to Julio and Sophie. <laughs> All right. All right. Birthdays. Happy 42nd birthday to Jason Coleman. Okay, happy birthday to Pam and David. Pam and David, you know who you are. Uh, happy birthday to Nathaniel Carter. Happy birthday, happy early birthday to Janet Kaiser. I hope that's your hospital. If it is, you're doing well. Happy, bel happy belated birthday to Tom Shearer, who turned 60. We don't know when, but it's belated. Happy birthday, Tom. Uh, and uh, that's it. 
So happy birthday, happy anniversary to all of you. Uh, and thanks for joining us here at Rick's Cafe Live. Appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, we're going to do a song now that uh, we don't really do that. In fact, guys, we've never done this together. Have we? We've never played the song. But the quality of musicianship, these guys just came in this afternoon and we ran it down once, and, and we're going to do it for you now. I love this song. I co-wrote this with my dear friend, uh, John Stoddard, who's, uh, yeah, John. We love John Stoddard. Hi, John. Hope you're watching. Uh, th this is uh, a song called So Strong for my Around the Horn CD. You ready, Gordon? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs>
that's, uh, that's from my Around the Horn CD, right? That's, uh, and the whole message on that, on that record was uh, music inspired by places from all around the world. And you can hear there's a little bit of Caribbean, a little bit of Brazilian. There's all kinds of different Afro-Cuban. There's all kinds of different influences just in that song. And uh, I really enjoyed making that record. Plus, I got to play with one of my trumpet-playing heroes on that particular project, Till Bronner who is absolutely one of the most wonderful trumpet players alive today. So um, you might want to check, check that CD out because it's got more of that kind of music on it. Um, listen, I think you've heard enough from me at this point because uh, these guys are an incredible band. And, um, you know, this is not the first time that they've been on the show. And, uh, and, and, and they've come on to, to entertain all of you. And so, uh, if it's all right with you, I'd like to step aside for a moment, and uh, and let these guys have a have something to say. Um, but quickly before I do that, there is someone that I really need to acknowledge here, and that is our sponsor, Sweetwater. We love you guys. Uh, you know, you have been here for us for the New Year's Eve show. You've been here for us through all of these shows. And uh, we just appreciate you so much. And your uh, Chuck, wonderful company. I know you have all heard me talk about it. If you're ever shopping for any professional musical gear, as we all have, you, we've all bought. Oh, yeah. Thing, yeah. We all, yeah. you know, yes, this is not, we're not lying here. Yes, sir. This is a good company. There's other companies doing this, but nobody's doing it as well as Chuck Sorak and Sweetwater. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for something, please visit them. Now, now it is time. Let's turn this show over to the able-bodied hands and vocal cords of, of my dear friend. <laughs> the, re the rest of them's okay, too. <laughs> okay. Carnell Harrell. Let's do it. One, two, three. Wanna buy you a car, but it ain't right. The price ain't right. Need downside cheaper. Start riding a bike. They're making milk out of powder. Yeah. Got a baby crying. Rent's going up higher Got the parents lying No run for cover 
keyboards and vocals. <laughs> Tony Polizzi on the guitar. Daryl Williams on the bass. Gordon Campbell on the drums. By the way, man, that solo on uh, So Strong, man, that was awesome. That was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was strong. That was so strong, man. That was very strong. Very strong. So uh, I talked about uh, on my little teaser video that we were going to do some things from back in the day. I've had several requests for this song, and this was actually the very first song that uh, put me on the radio. And back in those days, uh, this was uh, 91, 89, 91, um, there was no trumpet on smooth jazz radio. Uh, Chuck Mangione, of course, was a huge star, but he was pop radio. And I remember when I was uh, signed to Mesa Blue Moon and I got this huge broad budget to make a record, which was basically $25, and I was <laughs> thrilled to make the record. I was lucky enough to have been playing on a TV show, and I played, this show ran for four seasons, and I played on the theme, and I played on most of the episodes. And I didn't write the music for this. Uh, my friend Bad, Brad Fidel wrote this theme but uh, it's the Midnight Caller theme. Uh, he went on to write most of the music for all of the early Terminator movies and uh, then went on to write the music for uh, True Lies. As, as a matter of fact, he called me to, uh, to play uh, Harmon Mute on the movie True Lies, and there's a scene where this guy's head is kind of being smashed on a urinal, and uh, I'm playing some very sensitive Harmon Mute trumpet uh, in True Lies. I'm sure if you watch the movie, you'll see it. It stands out like crazy. Not. <laughs> you, can hear it. <laughs> you, can, you can hear it. But uh, this was really a, a fun time for me, and it, this song was the first song that got me onto uh, the radio and basically started my career. It's uh, from my Intimate Secret CD, and it's uh, called The Midnight Caller Theme. Oh, 
Now here's another one. And I hope we can get Emma Braun to come and join us on this. I hope you had a good time tonight. We might be done, then again, we might not. So please stick around. All right, let's do this. Sing along at home. great songs written over these changes, right guys? Let's do this one, you ready?
Thank you so much for dancing. Uh, I'll tell you what. Normally, we would end the show right here, but this is not, as Huge Groove would say, this is not a normal show. This is a special show tonight. Uh, and so what we're going to do is one more song for you. This is a Wilson Pickett song, but it's not the one you think. See, back in the day, in the, in the, in the day, we got back in the day. We all know back in the day, right? You smile and you got memories, and that's back in the day. Uh, playing at the Lighthouse in Hermosa Beach, I played with this band called Gumbo. And I got to sing a couple of songs, and it was so much fun. So hang with us. We're going to do this. I want to thank everyone for watching the show tonight. Once again, thank you for joining us. Appreciate you, each and, each and every one of you. And next week, we are going to have DW3 here on the show. <laughs> DW3 is going to be right here at Rick's Cafe Live. So tell your friends and join us next week. Uh, I want to once again thank the band over here on the guitar, Tony Polizzi, ladies and gentlemen. Daryl Williams on the bass. Yeah. <laughs> and Gordon Campbell on the drums. <laughs> yeah, Gordon. And Carnell Harrell on the keyboards. Yes. I want to thank all the vampires back here. I want to thank Nick, Max, Natalia, and Kyle for doing a fantastic job. We couldn't do without you. Most importantly, I want to thank Mrs. Braun for putting up with all of us invading her house. She even went out and got us food tonight, and it was really good, really good. Thank you, honey. Love you. <laughs> um, once again, so many of you have been with us throughout our history here, our six-month history, and uh, we can only keep doing this show thanks to you. Uh, your contributions. Uh, it's not required, but if you're enjoying what you see, we want to ask you to please contribute. Uh, you can do that a couple of ways. There is a, a link, I think, on the screen you're going to see shortly. It's the PayPal link, and you can donate to that link. Leave it up there for a minute, Nick, so people can write it down because it's not really easy. It's Brontosaurus, Brontosaurus. Uh, and then uh, the other way you can do it is to... Uh, you can push that little dollar sign button down there on the screen, and that is the Super Chat button. And by all means, if you're just watching the show and you haven't subscribed, please do. Like I said, we're going to start doing some special things for our subscribers and keeping you posted about all kinds of things going on in our smooth jazz community. I want to very thank very much uh, Chuck Surek and Sweetwater for hanging in there with us and uh, just uh, sponsoring all of our events and making sure we can keep things going. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Sweetwater. Now, we're going to do this song for you right now. Before we do, remember this. You can't spread the germs, but you can spread the love. So we're going to spread a little love with this Wilson Pickett song right here called... What's it called? I forgot the name of it. That's right. It's a phone number. 6345789. I hope you like it.